Hi, I'm Johnny Marsh. I'm the chef at Food by Johnny Marsh. Welcome to my series on retro food. In this episode, I'm going to show you my take on a prawn cocktail. First step to this wicked little recipe is I'm going to be cooking off the prawns. I'm going to be serving the prawns hot. Then I'm going to go on to the sauce. So what I've got, I've got my pan hot, oil in. And a little tip for this is I'm going to add butter to oil so the butter doesn't burn. So we've got that, let's wait until that foams. Pan's hot, butter foaming, prawns go in. Make sure you can hear, hear it fry. There's nothing with some boiled fish. Put that to one side. I'm just going to leave the prawns to cook now while I crack on with the sauce. In this sauce, all it is is mayonnaise, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce and paprika. So I've squeezed for say three, three and a half seconds. Ketchup, again, four seconds squeezing. Worcestershire sauce, this is the kind of, for me, it's the secret little, secret little weapon in this, in this recipe. Adds a bit of a depth to it. Smoked paprika, you can't have a prawn cocktail without smoked paprika. Give it a mix. For the full recipe, all you need to do is check the description box. Give it a quick try. See what it needs. Just a touch of salt. That's your sauce finished. You've got your prawns cooking. And what I've done is, I check in on the prawns here. I turn them over when they start to get crispy. Turn them over and I took off the pan. I took off the heat. So I've just let them rest in the butter so they're going to be moist and they're not going to be dry and they're still going to be warm as you serve it. For me, this recipe is wicked and it's easy. I served this recipe in the restaurant. It's quick and easy and it just goes to show that old recipes never die. So now we've got everything cooked, sauce made, prawns cooked, cream done. I'm going to show that in the presentation. I've got two forms of presentation here. Standard cocktail glass, real 1970s, and your kind of your new, new kind of deep glass shape. You can't have a prawn cocktail without, you know, your standard gem lettuce. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly shred it. It doesn't have to be, you know, military thin. However, whatever standard you're at, it's fine. I've got my two glasses here, and it's literally, you can plate up as you cook. The gem forms the base of the prawn cocktail. So now I've got that done. I've got my prawns to assemble. You bring that over. Remember these are hot, so it's a bit of a take on the old standard cold. However you want to do it, obviously if you're going to do it in a bowl, depending on what you want to eat, you can do it in a massive bowl. So now I'm going to add the sauce. There's no point making a wicked sauce like this if you're just going to be stingy on it. Lay that right over. Also what I've done is I've grilled some prosciutto ham which adds a, a different element to the dish and we're building, building layers all the time. So just on the side. And this is my chefy roots coming out. So I've got myself whipped cream with just, it's a savoury cream with salt, pepper and some chopped parsley. I've had a spoon soaking in some boiling water. What I'm gonna do, this is just called a roche. This is just a fancy it up really. It's a bit, a bit pretentious but Add a touch of caviar. This is, is exactly what we do in the restaurant. Touch of caviar on top. Again, just adds a little bit of elegance to the dish rather than it just being a standard 1970s prawn cocktail. Another little tip, touch of lemon juice and if you see, I take it at the side to avoid the big pips. Just a squeeze on top. It's just a little bit of crest, just to brighten it up. Just touch more salad to it. And that, people, is my take on the modern prawn cocktail brought right back from the 1970s into today. And if you like this and want to see more recipes like this, hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>